I'd like to welcome us to the 20th matriculation ceremony here at Covenant University. In the next 11 minutes, we'll be receiving the academic procession led by the Vice Chancellor, Covenant University, Professor Abiodun Adebayo. But just before we receive the academic procession, just a little bit more about Covenant University and what God has been doing here at Covenant. As you may already know, our mandate is to raise a new generation of leaders through qualitative and life applicable training system that focuses on value and skills development. Our training focuses on value and skills development. So beyond being worthy in learning, we pay apt attention to character development. We pay apt attention to building the total man. We pay apt attention to ensuring that you acquire the 21st century skills required in the industry. And we're seeing the results all around the world. I'll just mention a few alumni, alumni members who are doing great. There are too many if I, if I have to start mentioning them. First, of course, how many of us know Piggy Vest? Piggy Vest is owned by an Eagle, a Covenant University graduate. Please put those hands together for Jesus. Cora Pay is owned by an Eagle. And of course, the me standing before you here today, by this time next year, if you're bringing another word, I would have bagged my professorial chair by the grace of God. That is the kind of direction we get here at Covenant. Where you know where you're headed, there's no time to waste on frivolities or from moving from one job to another. There is clear-cut focus on what you're supposed to be doing, the vision and the mission you're supposed to accomplish. Certainly, Covenant University has also embraced international partnerships as an institution. We have partnered with other Ivy League and world-class universities, including MIT, and leading organizations and institutions in France, like Sciences Po, the university where Emmanuel Macron graduated, um, Central Nantes, that university's university in charge of all um, um, at moving infrastructure as well as war infrastructure in France. Some of our students this year, about seven engineering students, have also received internship placement in some of these institutions and their partners. So Covenant University has opened its arms to other universities at its cadre to do the same. Because of what God is also doing here at Covenant University, the university has been named the center of excellence by most um, multinational organizations, including the African Development Bank and the World Bank. Our researchers here, please put your hands together for Jesus. Covenant University has been named the center of excellence by the African Development Bank, as well as the World Bank. Our researchers here also are making giant strides in terms of the sort of research that they are conducting. We don't just conduct research and keep it in the shelves. These are studies and findings that are useful for today's problems. And that's why we have earned some of these centers of excellence award from these global organizations. I believe that your choice of Covenant University is not wrong at all. And I believe that at the end of the day, you will have no regrets in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Once again, congratulations, and we look forward to a seamless event today. To God alone be all the glory. In the next seven minutes, we'll begin to receive the academic procession. The Covenant University Band, please be on standby. Thank you.
We'd like to say a big thank you for the comportment we've received. Thank you for being our guests. Very shortly we'll be starting. Van, thank you. The Covenant University Band will lead us as we welcome the Vice Chancellor's procession led by the Head of Academic Affairs. The Covenant University Band, please. May we all rise as we receive the Vice Chancellor's procession led by the head of academic affairs, followed by directors of various units, the Director Center for EDS, Director International Office and Linkages, Director African Development Center, Director Student Industrial Work. Director of Covenant University Center for Research and Innovation, Director ODL, Director of Strategic Business Unit, the Director of Covenant University Medical Center, the Director of Academic Planning Unit, the Acting Director Center for Systems and Information Services, the Director of Vice Chancellor's Office, have Acting Heads of Department, here at Covenant University, we have over 32 departments and programs. We have our professors and heads of departments, the Dean Student Affairs, the Dean School of Postgraduate Studies, the Dean of Colleges. There are three colleges here at Covenant University. Four colleges, I beg your pardon the College of Leadership and Development Studies, the College of Management and Social Sciences, the College of Science and Technology, the College of Engineering. We have their deans and professors, acting heads of departments, now coming into the hall. At Covenant University, all of our programs are fully accredited. So your words are in good hands. We still have our professors and acting heads of departments proceeding into the hall for this 20th matriculation ceremony. Covenant University professors are acknowledged as the top researchers here in Nigeria and in Africa. They are often conducting studies that are useful for 21st century problems. Now we have the Dean. Of the various colleges. We have the Director of Academic Planning, 
Here comes the Dean of Student Affairs, the Dean School of Postgraduate Studies, the Dean College of Management and Social Sciences, the Dean College of Science and Technology, the Dean College of Engineering, the Dean School of Postgraduate Studies, our one and only chaplain, the Dean, the Director, Project and Planning Development, the Acting Registrar, and our own Vice Chancellor, Professor Abiodun H. Adebayo. Put your hands together for the Vice Chancellor's procession. Please put your hands together. We have our Pope Chancellor, Bishop David Abioye. And following him is our own father, Dr. David Oyedeko. Covenant University is a great institution founded to raise a new generation of leaders with qualitative education. Thank you very much, Covenant University Band. May I respectfully now invite the university chaplain, Pastor Victor Hill, to take the opening prayer. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for the day. According to your word, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Holy Spirit of God, take over this day by your presence in the name of Jesus Christ. Honor us with your presence this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Every event on the other program shall be successful in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for everything that you have done. In Jesus' glorious name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, sir. Still in our standing position, we'll take the national anthem and the Covenant University Anthem, led by the Covenant University Band.
Thank you very much, Covenant University Ban. We may please be seated. The Chancellor, sir, please allow me to establish the protocols for this 20th matriculation ceremony. The Chancellor and Chairman Board of Regents, Covenant University, Dr. David Oyedepo. The Pro Chancellor, Covenant University, Bishop David Abioye. The Secretary, Board of Regents, Pastor Adedeji Owojaye. Members of the Board of Regents here present. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Abiodun H. Adebayo. The Acting Registrar, Mr. Emmanuel Iban. Other Principal Officers of Covenant University, Deans of Colleges and School of Postgraduate Studies, Members of Senate of the University, Faculty and Staff of the University, Distinguished Guests, Esteemed Parents, Matriculating Students, <laughs> Members of the Press, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen. Welcome once again to the 20th Matriculation Ceremony. Allow me at this time to respectfully invite the Secretary Board of Regents, Pastor Adedeji Wojaye, for the Bible reading. Please put your hands together as he comes forward. The Bible reading for the 20th matriculation ceremony shall be taken from the book of Psalm chapter 1 from verse 1 to the 6th verse. Psalm 1 from verse 1 to the 6th verse. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor seated in the ways of sinners, nor seated in the ways seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the Lord thy God, and in and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like chaff, which the wind shall drive it away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in judgment, nor sinner in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. The Secretary Board of Regents, Pastor Adedeji Owojaye. Allow me at this time to respectfully invite the Acting Registrar, Mr. Emmanuel Iban, to bring us the welcome. Please put your hands together as it comes forward. The Chancellor of Governor University, Permit me, sir, to stand on the already established protocol. It is with a heart of gratitude to God that I welcome you to the 20th matriculation ceremony of Covenant University today. This ceremony marks the 10th in the second decade of the university, a decade of scaling visionary height, a decade of breaking, uh, breaking old and setting new enviable record, a decade of attainment of world-class status by the university. To God alone be all the glory, in Jesus' name. I especially welcome our esteemed parents and guardians to this auspicious occasion that marks a major milestone in the history of the university and the academic trajectory of the students. Particularly, I want to, to the matriculating students of today, I welcome you on board Covenant University platform where destinies are remodeled spiritually, physically, academically, and entrepreneurially in a fashion that is second to none in the world. Have a most refreshing event and remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. The Chancellor, sir, may I respectfully invite the Vice Chancellor for the next assignment. The Vice Chancellor, sir. The 
the Chancellor, sir, upon the powers conferred on me as the Vice Chancellor of Covenant University, may I respectfully invite the Chancellor to declare the matriculation ceremony open. Please let's rise as we receive the Chancellor, Chairman, Board of Regents of Covenant University, Dr. David Oyedeko. Thank you. You may please be seated upon the past conferred on me as the Chancellor, Chairman, Board of Regents, Covenant University. I hereby declare the matriculation ceremony of the 2020 said open in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. The Chancellor, sir, may I respectfully invite the Vice Chancellor of Covenant University to deliver his address. The Vice Chancellor, sir. The Chancellor and Chairman Board of Regents of our dear university, Dr. David O. Oyedeko. Please permit me to stand on the already established protocol as I bring my address. I'm pleased to welcome all our guests, parents, guidance, friends, and well-wishers to our 20th matriculation ceremony. I wish to underscore the significance of the matriculation ceremony in the admission process into the undergraduate and postgraduate degree programs of higher education institution. Indeed, it is the point where matriculants are formally admitted into the university as full-fledged students, as full-fledged students of the institutions and are conferred with the full rights and privileges of studentships, having subscribed to the oath of allegiance to the institution's code of conduct. I wish to congratulate all the matriculating students on their success in sailing through our rigorous admission screening processes and securing a placement in Covenant University. I wish again to say here that we must not cease to acknowledge the hand of God upon this university which was founded upon sound biblical principles to develop the total man, that is, the spirit, soul, and body. Our vision to raise a new generation of leaders and to restore the dignity of the black man is a divine mandate delivered to our chancellor and chairman board of regents of Covenant University, Dr. David O. Oyedepo. Our core values of spirituality, Possibility, mentality, integrity, capacity building, responsibility, diligence, and sacrifice are the crucibles for molding these new generation leaders with the required character for impactful leadership in their fields of endeavor. Consequently, our curriculum has remained life applicable, holistic, developmental oriented, and integrative to raise men and women who will transform the socio-economic landscape of Nigeria and indeed the Africa. Our unique curriculum emphasizes a shift from form to skill, knowledge to empowerment, figures to future building, legalism to realism, points to facts, and from mathematics to life matics. They are directed towards effecting the desired change in character and learning of our educational sector's recovery process and the restoration of the dignity of the black man. By the grace of God, Covenant University has had a rapid rise in nearly two decades of its existence and will be marking its 20th anniversary by the grace of God by October 21st, 2022. I thought somebody's excited here. The university has continued to receive national and international validations of the positive impact of a unique approach to tertiary education. 
Presently, Covenant ranks top 600 globally in the 2021 Times Higher Education SDG Impact Rankings. And again, to emerge first in Nigeria, are you celebrating God? Covenant is best Nigeria University in the 2022 Times Higher Education Global Subject Rankings. And the subject disciplines are engineering, business, economics, social sciences, computer science, and the physical sciences. Covenant is the only Nigerian university ranked in computer science discipline for two consecutive years. Covenant is the 2021 award winner of the African Brand Leadership Merit Award of the African Most Impactful Quality Education University of the Year. And Covenant is the first African university to win the International Sustainable Campus Network, that is ISCN Award in nine years. Where the Pet City Briggs submission was adjudged the best under the whole system approach. To God be all the glory. The Webometric Ranking named Covenant University the best private university in Nigeria for over five years, including that of January 2022. The Chancellor, sir, as a leading world-class university, Covenant University has become the most preferred university for candidates seeking for higher education in Nigeria. Only recently, the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, JAM, noted that five top of the 10 candidates in the 2021 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination, that is UTME, including the overall best candidate, chose Covenant University as their first choice. And I like to note here that some of these candidates are part of the matriculating students today. And we give God all the glory. Moreover, Covenant is the winner of the International Green Gown Awards 2021, the next generation learning and skills. The award is the most prestigious recognition of sustainability best practice within the education sector globally. The International Green Gown Awards celebrate the exceptional sustainability initiatives being undertaken by universities and colleges worldwide. And the Green Gown Awards are administered by the Alliance for Sustainability Leadership in Education and endorsed by the United Nations Environment. To God alone be all the glory. Again, the Cassava Waste Utilization Project presented by Covenant University student claimed the first position in the group project category at the fifth deans of engineering and technology of Nigeria University. In the engineering students competition within the south zone. Now also Covenant became the national champion of the group category of the 2021 Codet engineering student competition. We give him all the glory. I thought you are celebrating Jesus for this. I'd like to further state that all of our programs are accredited by the National Universities Commission and all the related national professional accrediting bodies. The Chancellor, sir, in this 20th matriculation ceremony, I'm pleased to inform you that we are matriculating a total of 1,807 undergraduate and 123 postgraduate students. And I wish to admonish the matriculating students to be mindful of the fact that they are in covenant to receive life applicable and life transforming education. The university's board, management, faculty, and staff have covenanted to provide you with world-class learning experience, which I hope you will maximize. It is instructive that all matriculants take heed to this wise counsel of our chancellor, Dr. David O. Oyedeko. And I quote, you are absolutely responsible for the outcome of your life. It takes high level discipline to make high level achievements. And Covenant University has produced over 
20,000 graduates who are doing exceptionally well within and outside the governmental circles across the globe. Some of them are captains of industries, giants in telecommunications, and other sectors of human endeavors today. For example, Oka Eje was a 2012 graduate of biochemistry. He was my project student. He's currently the CEO of Tribe Agri, and this organization has its spread across 17 states of Nigeria and has employed well over 1,000 persons in his workforce. It is my next prayer that you will, uh, you will all graduate in flying colors and join the army of our soaring eagles across the continent of the world in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I therefore welcome you to Hebron, the birthplace of kings and queens. Thank you all and God bless you. Chancellor, sir, may all the matriculating students rise with a copy of the matriculation covenant and say in unison after me. Say, I, you mention your name. If I say, I, you mention your name. Studying in the department of with the matriculation number fully recognized that Covenant University is founded on the authority of the word of God. The Bible an anchor on the philosophy which espouses radical departure from form to skill, knowledge to empowerment, figure to future building, legalism to realism, point to facts, mathematics to life matters, having an avowed objective of raising new generation leaders and aim at developing the total man through increased knowledge, thinking, and leadership skill. Now, having this understanding in view, I hereby humbly covenant my personal commitment to one wholeheartedly subscribe to the vision and mission of Covenant University, which principally seek to prepare me for a meaningful future, adhere strictly to the rules and regulation contained in the student handbook. Attend all lectures, seats for all required practicals, tests, examination, and undertake research projects as may be prescribed from time to time. Participate in all university prescribed sporting activities and other community service programs. Be present at every university assembly, call to exhort me spiritually, academically, and physically. Remain committed to the principle of the scripture, the Bible, in order to build me up spiritually, in order to remain in my program of study, 
unless advised to change to another by the university authority on account of poor academic standing or other exigencies and abide by the rules and regulations that may from time to time be adopted by the university authority. It is with this understanding of the above that I append my signature doors to this matriculation covenant to authenticate my commitment this 11th day of March in the year 2022. So help me God. The Chancellor, sir, at this point, may I invite the Vice Chancellor for the next assignment? The Vice Chancellor, sir. The Chancellor, sir. May I respect invite the Chancellor to admit all matriculation students to the university? The Chancellor, sir. Upon the powers conferred on me as Chairman Board of Regents Covenant University, and upon the signature we've just appended on the matriculation covenant, I hereby declare you valid student of Covenant University. <laughs> Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Congratulations once again. The Chancellor, sir, may I invite the representatives of the various colleges and the School of Postgraduate Studies to come forward before the Chancellor to sign the matriculation covenant on behalf of the remaining students. The representatives of the various colleges. We have thank God, happiness, joy. Asana Vivian, Roland Dominion Efe, Onyama David, Oyetunde Akenle, and Chukwemeka Douglas.
you may, all the matriculating students, you may have your seat. Congratulations. The Chancellor, sir, permit me to invite the Vice Chancellor for the next assignment, the VC, sir. The Chancellor, sir, may I respectfully invite the Pro Chancellor of Covenant University, Bishop David Abioye, as he comes to give his address. Please, let's welcome him. Thank you very much. The Chancellor, sir, and the Chairman, Board of Regents, Covenant University, Dr. David Oedepo, please allow me to stand on the established protocols for this event. While we continue to give all the glory to God for his visible end and undeniable act on this institution, Covenant University, since inception, I count it a great honor this morning on this special occasion of our 20th matriculation ceremony to deliver this address to our distinguished audience. I also remain eternally grateful to God and appreciate the Chancellor, Dr. David Oedepo, for this awesome privilege. As an established institutional tradition, matriculation is a ceremony where admission processes of students is being publicly formalized as we have it here this morning. However, this does not determine the ultimate performance of any student, but is a mere registration of intention to pursue success in the chosen field of study. And I hope a student, a newly matriculated student, is taking note of that right now. What prompts success is not just running, because there are many runners in life, but possession of race mentality. Because your mentality today becomes your actuality tomorrow. As we all know, not all runners win because people run for different reasons and under certain conditions, either in an attempt to pursue something or compelled to flee away from threatening situations. Sometimes you don't know how much somebody can run until a wild dog is pursuing him. But in a race, each participant is guided and constrained to observe certain rules, not minding inconveniences that comes with such knowing fully well that the race is within an appointed time. Therefore, running an academic program is not enough because not all who are in motion are actually making progress. Neither do all who are making effort have something to show in effect. You shall have something to show in Jesus' name. Amen. What makes one win in a race? is a set of factors that is injected into running. Running makes no meaning without clear, great factors injected into it. Someone may wonder, what then is it that makes a race different from running? A race is a purposeful pursuit with well-defined goals, aims, and clearly spelled out objectives. 
where there is no definition, there will certainly be deviations. All of our great students coming in, please define your goals clearly. A race can also be described as engaging in a healthy contest with intention to win or a competitive engagement with a strong desire to excel. All of these demands undivided and unbroken focus, utmost discipline, time management, strategic planning and programming, and of course, full determination and dogged dedication among others. Moreover, each student must constantly put at heart that even though this ceremony is carried out on a collective note, there is no number one, number two, number three at this moment. A sense of individuality in this academic race must be maintained throughout his or her stay. At matriculation, every student is put at the start, at a common start line, but differently grad graded at graduation according to individual's personal commitment over time. It is therefore not too early to begin to catch a picture of what your graduation would look like from this day of matriculation so as to remain motivated towards success at every moment. Very soon, the classes will be changing within the same class. It's my prayer that you will be at the topmost top. Yes. Covenant University, being a highly customized institution, presents a set of life-changing core values, which helps in training up each student for a productive life and a full race mentality, as described earlier. As you may be aware, these include spirituality, integrity, possibility mentality, capacity building, responsibility, diligence, and sacrifice. Engagement with these core values has been validated by testimonies from our graduates around the world. On this note, I admonish each and every one of you to embrace these core values right from the beginning. And it is sure to impact performance in your academic pursuit. As we all know, it is impossible to be distinguished in one's field of endeavor without engaging self-discipline. Finally, an international speaker, Van Crouch, said, Three important factors that contribute to one's success in life include the persons you meet, the books you read, and the places you visit or pass through. I believe that studying at Covenant University, that is meeting with our distinguished faculty, interacting with intelligent co-students, and passing through this incubating ground will certainly provide the platform for these requirements, thereby leading to outstanding accomplishment in this race of life. I therefore welcome you, all of our newly matriculated students, to the greatest adventure of your life till date at Covenant University. None of you will drop out. Yeah. Sickness will not drive you away from here. Yeah. Diseases will not take you away from here. Yeah. Lack and want will not take you away from here. Yeah. Starting well today, you will end well. Yeah. At record time. Yeah. No carryover. Yeah. No repeat of class. Yeah. Will someday come back again to celebrate with you your graduation. Yeah. May you receive grace to maximize your season here. In closing, may I remind the management, faculty, and staff of the university that you represent the university in our covenant with parents and students in ensuring that our students pass through this institution fully refined. 
and set to impact their world. Therefore, as you sustain your commitment, expect to be rewarded in return. To our wonderful parents and guardians, the joy of watching your children and world starting well today will culminate in glorious graduation when the time comes. Amen. Your children are sent here, they will return with glory and honor. Amen. If I may quickly tell this story here, a parent met me two years ago and said he wanted to send this child abroad. And by the time I took him through some lessons, including what happens to children without a watch and financial tension that many people are going through, he changed his mind that his son will be here. A year after, he met me and said, I have no regret. Because the son returned back home, not the way he came to school. The son returned home and packaged some offering for the father. The father was overwhelmed. He didn't know what to do with it. Such, among others, are the lessons being taught at Covenant University here. None of your parents will regret sending your children here. Amen. Once again, to all matriculating students, welcome to the most formative season of your life. Thank you all, and God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, sir, the Pro-Chancellor, Covenant University Bishop David Abioye. As we come full circle, close to full circle at this event, may I respectfully invite the Dean School of Postgraduate Studies, Professor Akan Williams, to move the vote of thanks and perform the next assignment. The Chancellor, I move this vote of thanks in honor of God, who is the founder, the founder, and the runner of covenant. He has been our guide. He has been the one that has kept us thus far. To him alone be all the glory. So I would like to deeply appreciate you for your leadership and for your obedience to the mandate, the divine mandate that has brought to us this platform of covenant. The Pro-Chancellor, we appreciate you for all the contributions, the values you've added to this institution. I'm aware that we have some members of our Board of Regents here present. The Secretary of the Board, we appreciate you. Thank you for the various policies the contributions on different fora that you brought to bear on Covenant. We like to appreciate the management of Covenant University led by the Vice Chancellor, Professor Adebayo. Thank you for the commitment. Thank you for all of the contributions. Members of Senate here present, we appreciate you. Our faculty and staff who have been with the students all through we want to appreciate God for your lives and trusting God just like has been prayed for you that it shall indeed be a testifying moment for you in Jesus' name. And what can we say about the very persons that all of us have come in here to be part of, to witness what God has done in their lives today? The matriculants. We say congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. And for the covenant parents for believing in us, now they are coming in here as eaglets. Shortly the next four years or thereabout, depending on their programs, we shall release them back to you as eagles in the name of Jesus. All our invited guests, all of the persons that have been part of the success story of today's matriculation ceremony, we say thank you. And for the members of the fourth estate of the realm, the pressmen, thank you for being part of this. And we know you're going to spread the good news. Everyone that has been part of this, we want to say to everyone, thank you one, thank you all. Even as I invite the vice chancellor for the next assignment.
the Chancellor, sir. May I respectfully invite the Chancellor and Chairman Board of Regents of Covenant University, Dr. David O. Oyedeko, as he gives his remark and bring this matriculation ceremony to a close. Please let's rise as we receive our dear Chancellor. Thank you very much. Please, let's be seated. For the success of this ceremony, shall we all give a big clap of praise to God. <laughs> Not one parent here will ever bury their children. Be alive and well to see these children grow to become sons Amen. and from sons to stars Amen. in your lifetime. Amen. I have these three minutes of remark to make, and then I'll be praying over the matriculating students, their parents, and well wishers as we bring this ceremony to an end. To I dare just come, students. No playboy or playgirl has a future. Life is not a playground. No playboy or playgirl has a future because life is not a playground. As the morning shows the day, one John Milton said, so the child shows the man. No playboy or playgirl has a future. My grandmother, the first professor I knew in my life because of her depth of insight, would say to me, 20 children don't play for 20 years. In 20 years, they will find their respective classes. Get serious from the onset. It's the only way to earn a glorious tomorrow. Get serious from the onset. Get serious from the onset. And you can be sure of a glorious tomorrow. There is nothing you're doing today you are doing for your parents. You are doing first and foremost for yourself. Get serious. They paid your way to come down here. You came on scholarship, whatever thing. Somebody paid something. Get serious. Get serious. No one can successfully hide his character, at least for a long time. Everyone's character is his makeup, that is his characteristics. Just like no one can hide the clothes he's wearing. You can't be wearing it and hiding it at the same time. It's on you, they can see it. But man can renew his mind to be transformed and now with a new set of values. And that exactly is the mission of Covenant University. Set to re-engineer the thinking pattern of our students, thereby transforming the way they think, repackaging their makeup, that is their character. It's common knowledge that one's character 
is what defines is our personality at the end of the day. Your character is what defines your personality. Therefore, how well cultured a youth is is what defines the quality of life that awaits him tomorrow. How well cultured, how well behaved. The legend Billy Graham once said, when you lose money, you lose something. When you lose your health, you lose something precious. But when you lose your character, you have lost everything. It's been a slogan, traditional slogan, fan worthy and character and learning. And we saw character being virused with our very eyes without anybody, anyone, any system seeking to address it. That's why we came on board. To give value to your skills, because nothing devalues skill like lack of character. It's a thief, it's enough to erode all the skill. It can't be trusted, it's enough to erode all its capacity. My prayer is that each one of you subscribe like we had in that address to the rules of Covenant University which are meant to secure for you a great future. To create a regret free tomorrow for you. Be in your classes to time. You soon have your company. If you don't know how to be on time, everybody will become a late comer. The company will die a natural death. Take responsibility so you don't end up in liability. Those are the things we do. The reason we have so many number of first classes because there is an environment created, both physically, intellectually, and socially to help you maximize your time and make the most of your life. You have come to this academic factory called Covenant University, as raw materials as it were, our intention is to turn you to an enviable, finished product to impact your world in whatever area of endeavor you engage with. Allow us to do that for your good. Allow us to do that so you don't break the hearts of your parents, 300 level thrown out, 400 level banished, it doesn't add up. Again, no playboy or playgirl has a future. Life is not a playground. Shall we rise? Now, our traditional song of gratitude all the glory must be to the Lord. All the glory must be to the Lord. All that we see today as a university, mm, he made it happen. All that we shall see tomorrow is one to make it happen. We've never struggled to have students here. He made it happen. We've never struggled to get faculty here. He makes it happen from anywhere in the world. We have never looked for money one day here. He makes it happen. From construction to completion, phase by phase, no. All the glory was be to the Lord, all of it. 28th matriculation, all of it. All the glory must go to him. Shall we sing that together? Um, Be to the Lord. Please lift up your two hands and worship Him. For He is worthy of our praise. No man on earth should give glory to Him. 
himself. All the glory, All the glory must be to the Lord. All the glory must be. All the glory must be to the your manifest presence, your glorious presence, your provisions, your preservations, your protections, your liftings. How? From this deep forest and nursing institution around the world is your doing. Receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray that the same way you are nursing this university globally, everyone that passes through here shall have their own global share. Amen. I therefore commit all the matriculating students to you today. Keep them here. Amen. Keep watch over them. Amen. Protect them. Amen. Cover them. Amen. They brought them down here alive. No one shall be carried away dead. Amen. None of the parents will weep over any of the particular children today. And I pray for grace, for intellectual alertness that will enhance your performance and sustain the same in the name of Jesus. And I pray that to be part of these emerging leaders that will change the outlook of our continent and secure back our lost glory beginning from Nigeria, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for all of our parents that have come down here today, well wishers, guardians of our students. I pray for safety on your way back. Amen. And I pray for God's grace upon your life. Amen. You'll never run out of resources. Amen. No one here will have a reason to withdraw their students Amen. for lack of funding in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I pray that you will live long Amen. to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Amen. You will live long. Amen. You see these children become great Amen. in your lifetime Amen. to the glory and praise of his name. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I ask your blessings upon our faculty and staff, uh, eminent professors, and all that contribute to the building of these great destinies. May your children never lack help when they need it. Amen. I pray that the way, same way you are enhancing the value of other people's children, your children's value will never go down. Amen. And I pray that each one of you will be rewarded Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Before we share the goodness and share this uh, humorous testimony with you, one of my respected mentors was sharing this with me. When he was a kid, somebody came uh, from outside, whether from Lagos or from outside the country, and bought what we used to call Bentigo. You know Bentigo? Face cap. It was multicolored face cap. And all the children gathered together. They were so excited in the village, celebrating him. I now use the face cap and place it on this, my mentor. He became the center of attraction of everybody. He said he became dizzy. That is with joy. Joy made him become dizzy. So one day he was recounting the gift of the face cap or bentigo. <laughs> what have I done for this man who did me this honor when I was a kid? He bought him a brand new car with a driver. My God. And to pay for the maintenance of the car and salary. When 
The man was coming back to his house and he saw the car. He said, maybe he is around. So they said, no, he sent us to give you this car. The man said, me? He also became dizzy. <laughs> he also became dizzy. He said, please, can I have a chair to sit? <laughs> well, faculty and staff, you can't tell what you are doing. Yes, sir. You are sowing a seed into lives. You are sowing a seed into destiny. Amen. The joy that makes a man dizzy is awaiting you. Yeah. There's something we land on you and be saying, eh? can I have a chair to see it? Because of the enormity of it. I had a mother in the faith that took care of me in love and all that. So many years ago, when I was turning 60, I said, what will I do to honor this? My great mother. In America, I sent him a brand new car. Sent him a brand new car. I mean, uh, he, he was lost. She was lost with me to send you a car from Africa. It was too much. One of my teachers taught me how to dress by the way he dressed. I also bought him a car, a brand new car, for teaching me how to dress. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You can't tell, but there is no labor invested on this campus in the raising of these precious students that will not be rewarded. Amen. So get committed to it. God do them in love. Help the ones that think there's no hope for him and let them get back on their feet. They will remember it tomorrow. They will remember it tomorrow. There are these individuals now, if you even bear their name by mistake, you secure favor from us. You bear their name by chance. You like you call somebody again now, whether it's Kenneth again or not, it doesn't matter. It's my brother. <laughs> I mean, it's my son. It's my junior person. So I look after him. Praise God. There's a future for every genuine investment in putting smiles on the faces of others. There's always a future. Amen. Doing good is good. Even when you do good by mistake, it's still good. You need someone who doesn't have any respect or value for you, it doesn't matter. It's still good. Lift up your two hands. <coughs> now, give God thanks. You are glad to see today. Give him thanks. Parents and guardians, please give intense thanks for sending your children a word, particularly today. <coughs> give them time because you see them graduate at their respective times. In Jesus' precious name, go in peace. Amen. Have a most fulfilling festive day and return to respective places in peace. Amen. Shall we together share the goodness of the Lord? Surely, Surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall live forever. Amen. Amen. Peace. Thank you very much, sir. Let's put our hands together once again for the Chancellor of Covenant University, Dr. David Oyedeko. The Covenant University Band will now lead us in the Covenant University Anthem. And afterwards, the procession will take place in reverse order. Covenant University Band.
Thank you very much. While we we'll remain standing, the procession will now move in reverse order. Thank you very much, sir. The Chancellor, Covenant University. Dr. David Oyedepo, the Pro Chancellor, Covenant University. Bishop David Abioye. We want to appreciate the members of the Board of Regents who graced this occasion today. We also acknowledge the presence of Pastor Intia Intia, who's here also, and Honorable Ojubele Jimo, a member of the House of Representatives. Thank you so much and congratulations to our parents. Congratulations, matriculating students. You have started a journey today and we believe that you will excel greatly until your day of graduation in Jesus name. Thank you, and thank you to the members of Senate who are now leaving the hall, our professors, heads of departments, directors of units. Thank you so much. And to the Covenant University Band, we appreciate you. Congratulations, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your day.